MATLAB has strong support for complex numbers built in. If we take the square root of negative 1, for example, we get the imaginary unit as the result. We can enter this value in directly as 1i, or as 1j if you're in a field that prefers that notation. Notice that we can use i by itself as well. However, i is also a common name for an integer index variable, and if you assign a different value to i, you can easily get confused. So it's best to be in the habit of always typing 1i when you want the imaginary unit. Complex numbers are a combination of real and imaginary terms. So for instance, we can define z as 3 plus 4i. We can extract the real and imaginary parts of z using the functions real and imag. The complex magnitude, or modulus of z, which is usually written mathematically with an absolute value sign, is found using the abs function. If we divide z by its magnitude, we get a complex number sometimes called the signum of z. In MATLAB, we can get this number using the function sign, s-i-g-n. In the case of a real number, the sign is plus or minus 1, as you would expect. Complex numbers have a natural interpretation as polar coordinates in the plane. The magnitude of z is what we would normally call r, the distance from the origin. We can find the polar theta value using the function angle. Finally, you might be surprised to learn that in addition to producing complex valued outputs, the square root function can accept complex valued inputs as well. If I take the square root of 1i and the square root of that, then the result is a complex number which, when raised to the 8th power, gives us 1. Other familiar mathematical functions also accept complex numbers. The famous identity called Euler's formula tells us that the exponential function with an imaginary argument is a combination of cosine and sine. Similarly, your mathematical training may make you expect that the logarithm of negative 1 is an error, but in fact there's a sensible complex result. The hyperbolic cosine and hyperbolic sine functions are nothing more than the usual cosine and sine evaluated at imaginary arguments. There's much more one could say. If you do get an unexpected complex value, don't immediately assume you made a mistake. The result might be trying to tell you something. In the next video, we're going to take our first look at the things MATLAB was really designed for. Vectors, arrays, and matrices.